Okay, hi all, this is Michael here. In today's video, I'm going to actually go through with you guys how to flash the AOSP uh, ROM for this uh, Nexus 7 2012. That is the best ROM that I've used so far. It's lightweight, it's fast, and um, with some tweaks, it is really very usable for this uh, this current year, 2017. You st it still can perform pretty well without not say without but with minimal lag and stuff because on this stock ROM itself this tablet will actually lag after some use so for me it's not really usable after a while so for me the best available ROM would be uh, would be the custom ROM which I'm gonna go through with you now right so so before we actually start we will need to make sure that we have the necessary settings enabled so if you take a look at this, we would need to enable develop, op develop option. So we need to click this seven times, then go back there and on develop option itself, we will go to USB debugging, enable. Okay, we are done. So let's move on to the PC for the setup. Okay, before we start the process, first of all, we need to make sure that the files that are needed for the flash is copied into your tablet. So you need the OpenGFs, Pico, as well as the journal journaling disabler this is all needed after you have flashed with the uh, for you to, to complete the flashing process so what do we need to do now is to check on the devices we can do ADV devices they will basically show you the device that is attached so once you have that you can actually reboot to fastboot now to proceed to the next step of the flashing so what you need to do now is do ADV reboot boot loader your tablet should be booted up in fast boot mode now. So, okay, the next step that we need to do is to flash custom recovery. So, first of all, you need to download the latest TWRP for your device itself. So, what you can do is do a fast boot devices to ensure your device is connected. So, once you have your fast boot device connected, for this one, I will recommend you to do a permanent flash of the recovery because we don't actually, if you are using this tablet, you won't actually revert back to the old. old Firmware because it's, it's too laggy to be used, so you can actually do a permanent flash. So you'll do a fast boot flash recovery, then TWRP, and you do a. So once you are done with that, we'll move on to the uh, tablet itself for the setup. So what we can do now is to use the volume rocker to actually boot into recovery mode. So what we do now is just to boot into recovery mode and it will be booted into the uh, TWRP recovery for you to go through the re remaining process. So you can just do a swipe alarm modification. So what you need to do now, the first thing, uh, because your file is there, you will need to do a wipe. Normally I'll do a wipe. So since you are coming from 5.1.1, if you're asking me, you'll just do an advanced wipe and you'll wipe everything. Except for internal storage because all your zip files are there, right? So you just do a swipe to wipe everything away. Then you go back and what we need to do here would be do ADB site load. So we will need to do ADB site load the package in order for us to install into this tablet itself. So we will tap on ADB site load and start to do a Sideload feature. So once you have started it, you can connect your USB cable to the to the tablet itself, and you can sideload the file from the computer. Okay. So once you have the um, cable connected to your tablet, you can actually do an ADV sideload for this. So what you can do now is ADV sideload AOSP. So what you need to do now is just to press enter and, and you will just wait for the load to finish. So yes, as you can see now, the site load is uh, ongoing. So now they are actually doing the installing of the uh, ROM itself. So you just need to wait it out and things will be fine. Okay, so once the site load has complete, completed successfully, we'll move on to the tablet for the remaining of the setup. Okay, we can swipe to unlock now. So as you can see, the script is succeeded. We have already done the setup. We can actually go back now. And you can actually do an install 
for your open GFs now. So you just need to do a flash for open GFs. Okay, so once the GF is installed successfully, uh, what you do is normally you do a white Dalvik, white cache and Dalvik cache. So once it's done, you can actually reboot the system for the first time. You just do a reboot. I normally don't install, it's up to you, so you can don't, do not install. And normally the first boot will take quite a while. So once the device gets booted, there are some other stuff that we need to do in order to make sure that the Nexus 7 2012 will be usable. In, I mean like usable in this 2017. So let's just wait for the boot up to finish. Okay, as you can see now, we already have the um, uh, device booted up. So we can actually just key in the Wi-Fi password now. It's going to take a while. We're just going to wait for it to complete the entire process. So this time, uh, no thanks. Next. So this time we'll set up the device as uh, new as well as put in the Google account that I need because we will need to download something from the Google Play Store. I'll turn this off for, for, for this time so we'll just go next and let the thing finish. And the custom ROM is running on Android 6 Marshmallow which is I think a pretty good uh, Pretty good update, I should say, the build state than uh, other than the 5.1.1 from the stock. At least this is running Android Marshmallow. Of course, there are nougats, there are nougat wrong for this as well, but they are not the stable one. So, if you're asking me, this will be the stable one. So, what we need to do is just to uh, run OK. As you can see, the ROM itself is pretty clean. Um, you can check on the tablet about tablet itself. It's run on 6.0.1 and it's running on September 6, 2016 security patch. It's not the latest patch, it's like one year old patch. But like what I said, this is a very old tablet. If you want it to be usable now, this is the best ROM that you can find. And as you can see now, it's pretty clean. There's nothing much except for the Play Store. Okay, the device is now rooted, as you can see. You, you can actually run a super... Like what I said, what I did is actually run a super SU. You can download, I'll leave a link down below if you want for the download. And um, once that is done, you can install the next one, which is the journaling disabler. You can just do a okay. Once you are done with both, right, you can do a wipe Delvic cache if you want to, just do a wipe and reboot the system. Do not install and let the system reboot another round. After this, we'll do the last step, which is to install FS Trim to the tablet, and we are all done. Okay, once you are done with the updates, uh, you should be able to find Super SU here. You can do a start. No thanks. Um, so this is your Super SU running currently. Not the latest version. So uh, what you can do next is to do a FS trim. That's why I said that is something it's, that is needed for your Make sure to improve the lagging issues that you have on the Nexus 7 2012 itself. So what you can do is open it up and just do uh, your cron, you cron your super user request, and you can actually choose a partition to trim. So you just do a trim now. There will be start process of trimming, and there are some settings that you can do for this as well to do the. Uh, enable auto trim so frequency you can do it every once a week or every day so it's up to you so you can do it once a week if you are using it frequently you can do it every once every day and stuff right so the time and all those things so once you are done yep you are more or less completed with the trim and uh, I think that's all we have and as you should basically see some improvement into in your in your response of your Google Nexus tablet an Nexus 7 2012 tablet and um, this setup I've been using it for a while and I find that this is the best um, setup that you can have for your 
for your uh, Nexus 7 2012. As you can see, it's very clean. There's nothing much in this thing here and it's going to give you the best performance available for this machine. And now what I said, I'm happy with it and it makes this tablet feels alive again. It's not the best, but it, it's, it does the job well. So if you have one of these, you might want to consider doing this setup. So you can actually use this tablet for anything that you want, your music player, to browse the web and stuff, and, and it should perform well. Okay, that's all I have for today. If you guys like the video I'm doing, uh, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe for any future updates that I have. And um, I'll be uploading new videos soon on the giveaway for a few products that I already have. So please stay tuned to that. And uh, that's all for now. Bye.